Sarah Lee Whitson. She's the executive director of Dawn, a non-profit organization that promotes democracy in the Arab world. She's joining us from New York. Uh, Sarah Lee, thanks for being with us. So what does this change in designation and the move to stop support for the Saudis tell us about how the Biden administration will approach the war in Yemen? Well, they have made no secret about their decision uh, just released uh, two days ago uh, that they are ending uh, their own uh, support for offensive operations in Yemen, that they are ending in particular uh, intelligence sharing that has been going on for five years and suspending arms sales for offensive weapons uh, that will be or could be used in Yemen. Um, so it's a very strong step on top of canceling uh, former uh, President Trump's terrorist designation uh, that the United States is finally changing course uh, in Yemen. And I think it's very important to note that both Republicans and Democrats uh, support this, support this decision, and tried very hard to get President Trump uh, to get out of the war in Yemen. Well, the bipartisan support is one thing, but what does this mean for the people in Yemen and any chance of a political settlement on the ground? The war is stalemated, as, as many would agree. Uh, what does this mean for how we can bring peace to that country? Um, well, for one thing, hopefully, it will mean that the Saudi Arabia uh, and the UAE realize that they have no more support from the United States for this war. Uh, President Biden has said that he is going to increase diplomatic efforts and re-engage with the diplomatic process under the UN uh, authority, uh, under Martin Griffith's uh, efforts to push for negotiations. I hope uh, that Saudi Arabia and the UAE will understand that the war has to end that they no longer have U.S. support, and basically the whole world wants them to get out of Yemen. Okay, uh, Sarah Lee Whitson okay. from Dorna, Executive Director of the Nonprofit Organization to Promote Democracy, thank you for being with us.